So this is Goose, and we're working on bat training today, so behavioral adjustment training. And what we're doing is helping him with his reactivity to other dogs. And he's been um, getting a little unpredictably upset with certain dogs and disagreeing with them when he's at the dog park at the apartment complex. So what we're gonna work on today is helping him regulate his own emotional response to the dog park um, by letting him develop his own coping mechanisms to calm himself down. The guardian's gonna be here to support him. The two main things I want the guardian to pay attention to is his tail position and the leash. Notice how the leash is nice and loose. There's slack in the leash. Um, that's something that I want you to maintain throughout the session, so go ahead and walk towards him. Let him guide you forward. If he's walking relaxed, go ahead and follow him. Good, so keep the leash loose. You might have to walk sometimes a little faster with him. There you go, and just focus on keeping the leash nice and loose, great. Now, the other thing I want you to focus on is his tail position. See how it's nice and loose right here? Nice and low, below his back. Then it's starting to go up, but it hasn't gone above his back. What we're looking for is for his tail to stay um, at his, the level of his back or below it. Um, see how much he's wagging his tail? It's staying nice and low, so I would say that that's a good indicator. Here's the dog park. Um, that he is bringing a lot more energy to the table. So why don't you just call him back a little bit and just encourage him to walk backwards. Perfect. Okay, actually make the leash a little looser since he sat, that's pretty good. Okay, now bring him back because he's kind of, he's starting to move in too direct of a fashion to get to the door. So just bring him backwards. If you need to, you can pull on him a little bit. There you go. Um, and I just want you to walk him away from the park until he's calmer. There we go. Good. Good. Now you have slack and leash. Good. So again, um, just to make sure that I, we caught all of that, you can go ahead and have him stop walking away. Um, we want to see the tail position being at his back, uh, level his back or below, um, and having him walk in a relaxed fashion. Now he's starting to walk a little more directly, kind of in a beeline. So just go ahead and call up to him and see if you can get him to take a couple. There you go. Yeah. Now stand and don't. There you go. Good. Remember, keep the leash loose. Um, perfect. We want to be able to help him be able to walk away when he gets that excitable. And so he's learning, okay, I'm getting too excited. I need to take a couple steps backwards until he's able to walk up to the dog park. Oh, again, very direct walking. We want him to walk a little more relaxed. Good. Okay. If he can sit there with the leash loose like that, that's okay. Good. Again, here's the dog park, so he's really close, but he can't see the dogs. Notice that there's a difference between him being able to see the other dogs um, and his excitement level. Okay, so there's dogs there. This time, try walking him straight back that way so he can still see the other dogs, but he's walking away a little bit. There we go. Good. Stay, try standing right where you are. Good. Notice how he's more relaxed, okay. Now again, we want him to be directing as much of this as possible unless we have to interfere. Try calling to him and seeing if you can get him to walk, um, stand with you in the parking lot area. Good. Good, keep the leash loose if you can. Call to him. Do whatever you need to to see if you can get him to come back to you without pulling if you can. Goose, Try kissing to him if you can. A lot of dogs respond pretty strongly to that. There's a puppy over this way and he's being nice and good. This is the kind of thing I want to see. See how the leash is nice and loose? He's able to see the puppy, see other people, but he's maintaining self-control. That's really good. The puppy's still over there, but he's still nice and relaxed. His body posture is relaxed and the leash was staying nice and loose. So we want to follow him as long as he's being calm. If he's being calm, you follow. If he starts beelining it, that's when you help him walk away. Excellent. Okay, so just bring him back. Good. Now all of this is to help him get to the point where he's so calm by the time he gets to the park that he doesn't want to have any kind of disagreements with any of the other dogs. Okay, so I would just pull him back down. You don't need to follow him up the stairs. Okay, so I would try bringing him over into the grass so he has some place to smell. Just bring him to the grass area, go ahead. You can bring him with you. Um... 
Goose. Come on, Goose. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Okay, I try bringing him right over here to the grass. Come on. So he has some place to smell and relax. There we go. Much better. Okay. Don't let him pull you if you don't if you can help it. There you go. There you go. Much better. Don't let him pull you back to the stairs. There we go. Excellent. That's much better. He's calming down. Notice that when you don't let him pull you around, he calms down pretty quickly. Okay. So if he starts pulling you any direction, I want, if anything, for you to say, nope, we're gonna go the opposite direction that you're pulling in. If he's walking calmly and just kind of meandering in a direction, you can follow him. Okay. Perfect. Good. So what I'm gonna do is just back up a little bit so we can watch him start to make his way towards the dog park slowly. Okay, try taking a couple steps towards the park. That's good behavior. I like his body posture. Good. Now I'd pause there. See if he can stay relaxed while he's right here. Good. This is good behavior. This is excellent. This is what we want to see. He's next to you. The leash is loose. It's draped over him. And he can see the dog park. But he's not pulling to try to get there. Okay, take a couple more feet forward. I'm going to walk behind you just so I can show where he is relative to the dog park. Excellent. I would pause there, call to him, see if he can get, there you go. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. That was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Notice how he's starting to gain more self-control. Good. Now take about, walk halfway to the curb. Okay, that's good. Nice and loose, good, excellent. Excellent. Now, one of the reasons why we're not giving treats at this point is because we don't want him to be more focused on the food because it's going to change his communication with other dogs um, and towards you. We don't want him looking to you for everything. We want him to be able to do this on his own so he can, once in the dog park, at some point we can't take him off leash and you can trust him because if you have to use treats to get him to calm down and to always be looking at you, he's going to react differently when the treats are removed and the leash is taken off. So we're trying to simulate the closest thing we can to him learning how to do this on his own. Go ahead and take a couple of feet steps towards the dog park. Okay, that's about good. See if you can get him to stand with you here or sit. Sitting is fine too. Now I want to wait to move forward until the dogs kind of come by on their own. I want to see how he handles himself once he sees the other dogs again. If we can keep the leash loose just like it is right now. He, he, you're doing excellent and he's doing really good. There we go. Nice. So nice slow tail wag. He's able to look away. The leash is loose. That's what we want to see. Go ahead and take maybe two to three steps towards the dog park, but only two to three steps. That's good. Good. See if you can get him to stand next to you with the leash loose. Just call to him. Come here, Goose. There you go. Good. Good. And remember, we are not really petting him. You're doing an excellent job of not doing that. I just want to remind you in the camera for the video so you can watch this later not to be petting him because you don't want his, his attention mostly on you. You want his attention on his environment. You only are interfering to help him walk away when he needs to. Okay. And you're doing all the right things. Um, I just want to remind you so when you watch this later, you're able to see that. Okay, take another step or two towards the park. That's good. See if you can get him to stand with you. Good. Good. I like that he's coming back to you and is in a nice and relaxed position. Remember, this is the first time we've done this, so he's unfamiliar with this because he has a normal pattern of running up to the dog park and probably just like jumping right in to the mix. Goose, goose, goose. Goose, come here. Excellent. Are you still bringing him into the park on a daily basis or a pretty yeah, regular he basis? Yeah, he goes in, but not when there's other dogs around. Okay, so if you, so you wait until there's no dogs in the dog park? Yeah. Okay. I'm just waiting for the dogs to come back up. See if you can help Goose. him come away from the dog park. Great. Hi. We're just doing some dog training. Oh, that's good. She's friendly. 
They're both friendly. They're both friendly. Uh, uh, so pull him away. Goose, come here. That way he doesn't get the opportunity to disagree in any way. Good. But his all of his body posture said that that was good. So what I'd actually have you do is walk him back this way so they can come out. Okay. And then I can um, kind of walk you through. If the dogs are both very friendly, I can kind of walk you through him possibly greeting them or at least them going by with him staying in a calm state. So if okay. you want to come stand over by the fire hydrant Goose, over here. Come here. We can let them come on out. All right, so I'm gonna stand right over here because I wanna be able to show like what, just try to keep the leash loose, but him over near you the best as possible. It's okay. Yep, okay, so go ahead and let them say hi. I'm gonna let you know. Try to be careful about letting the leashes get this tangled because if something, if he were to change his behavior, now ask him to walk away. Hey, Goose, come here. See Just, you're going to have to be a little stronger Goose, about that. Yeah. There you go. Come on. Have him walk away for a second, and yep. then he can go back and say hello in a moment. Goose. Have him come back so come. the leash isn't taut. Goose, come here. Have him keep moving back. Yep. Goose, come. come on. There you go. Good. Perfect. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. Yep. So see how his tail is still nice and low and relaxed? Now let him reapproach them and just follow him. There we go. Notice how relaxed his body posture is. There we go. Keep the tension off of the leash. The more tension on the leash, the more likely if he were to, that he would get upset in this situation. Because the tension on the leash can actually increase his um, arousal, which might lead to him getting upset. But this is great. He's nice and relaxed. And um, you want to keep the leash nice and loose, just like that. Perfect. Now have him walk away. Hey, come here, goose just so he doesn't start um there we go perfect perfect are there any other dogs in the dog park no this is perfect time for us to go in thank you so much for working with us i appreciate it bye so come on in all right so what i want you to do since there aren't any other dogs in here right now um i just locked the door just wait for him to relax enough keep the leash loose now go ahead and ask him to sit hey can you goose sit and go ahead and take him off leash. Okay. All right, so this is how we're gonna help Goose um, work his way into the dog park. We want to end on a really good note. He got to greet dogs, um, and we were able to get him to the point where he can also go into the dog park without any other dogs in here um, to make sure he's nice and comfortable, and we don't have um, any unwanted disagreements at this stage since we're just beginning the behavioral adjustment training.